Preeclampsia, part two. Preeclampsia is thought to be an issue with the placenta where it releases these factors that go throughout the body and damage areas that shouldn't be damaged. What happens is if you have early onset preeclampsia, the thought is that when the placenta is being formed, it has uh, issues with formation and causes problems with the release of those factors. And then late onset preeclampsia is more thought of a, as the demand increases on the placenta, uh, the demand is too much and so causes issues that lead to the development of preeclampsia. So those factors that are released because of preeclampsia circulate throughout the body and they can damage blood vessels and other things. Well, some people will manifest it during pregnancy and have high blood pressure and other issues that you catch while you're pregnant and it takes a while to break down and get rid of those factors. Other women will not manifest it at all and totally seem normal, but those factors are still circulating, which is why you can develop preeclampsia postpartum. So it's super important to follow up and go back to your postpartum appointment and see your, your provider that was taking care of you throughout the pregnancy to make sure that you aren't developing postpartum preeclampsia. It's usually gone by six weeks after delivery and about six to eight weeks after, if you don't have any issues, usually you're, you're safe and you don't have to worry about it. So tune in for part three because I want to talk about aspirin and the prevention of preeclampsia.